everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have Tony with me. We are of course very excited that we are pregnant and we figured today we could do a fun video. We don't know the gender yet. We're hopefully gonna find out soon. But before we do, we were like, okay, let's sit down. We'll go through all the old wives tales and see if we can try to predict what the gender will be. This is just for fun. I don't actually necessarily believe in these old wives tales, but we thought it would be just a fun video to kind of do with you all. All right, before we get into this though, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's start off with the first old wives tales to see boy or girl. First of all, what do you think it's going to be? No clue. You have no, like, inkling yet? I have yet? no idea. I don't think I do either. People keep asking me, what do you feel like it is? And I'm like, beats me. <laughs> I don't know. It's a child. <laughs> it's a child. We will be happy, of course, with whatever it is. But I don't think I have, like, an inkling. Let's get into the first one. So Tony's going to ask me some of the questions, like, how I'm feeling and that kind of stuff. And we'll go from there. First one is morning sickness. Was it severe or mild? It was very mild. I said this in my... First trimester recap if you watch that, but yes, it was a little nauseous, no throwing up, very mild. So what does that mean? I agree. That's boy. Boy. Okay. One for boy. Uh, baby's heart rate over or under 140, which... I don't remember this answer. I do, but it doesn't make sense because each week it goes down a little. <laughs> so what week <laughs> is this marker for? <laughs> okay. So what does it say again? So I'm it's gonna... under 140 right now. Which is a boy. Boys okay. are supposed to have lower heart rates than females. Okay. But two weeks ago, it was above 140. So I... We'll just say below. <laughs> for right two now, for it's boy. <laughs> Carrying the baby high or low? Uh... <laughs> Neither. Too early. I don't know. I guess... Well, I was looking at it this morning, and I think it, low, I guess. Like, I don't know. I can do, I can get up and like show my belly, but I don't think, like, I don't know, like this. Too early. You can't even see. Yeah, I have no idea. Too early. But like, I feel like here it's more than like up here. It's not up here. Do you know what I mean? But I don't think that that would show up here any way much later than this. So. I've also read that that is not an indication. Okay. Well, but the none heart, of these are really. The, no, the heart rate is. Oh, okay. So, um, can we skip this one? Yeah. Because we don't know. We'll skip it. Cravings, sweet or salty? Sweet, because of fruit. Sweet, uh, I would say. Fruit, yes. I like That's salty a stuff a lot, like pickles and stuff right now, but fruit is my number one craving. So what is it? That's a girl. Girl, okay. So what, two for boy, one for girl? Headaches, no or yes? Yes, but <laughs> <laughs> I get headaches all the time. But I guess we should still say yes, because it's not like I'm not getting headaches. Headaches other than tension headaches, we'll have to say. I've had some. Yeah. Yeah, yes. We'll say yes. That's boy. <gasps> okay, wait, what are we at? Three and one. Heartburn, yes or no? Yes, mild. That. But then I started taking a lot of calcium, like Tums and stuff to make yeah. it feel better. Um, so, yes? That's a girl. But I've heard of pregnant women who get it really bad. I have not had it bad at all. You don't have it regularly, just when you eat certain foods. I, yeah, so I'd say no, because some women get it, like, every night suffering really badly. So I am going to say no, actually. Okay. So what is that? No is boy. Clumsy, yes or no? Am I clumsy? She started putting stuff away in weird places. That's pregnancy brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's not clumsy. Clumsy? I don't think I'm clumsy. I'm going to go with no. No, no, I'm not clumsy. No is a girl. Okay. If you had any baby dreams, whether it was a boy or a girl. So I had my first baby dream two nights ago, and Tony asked me, was it a boy or a girl? And I was like, I don't I, I don't know. It was a baby. It was an amorphous It child. was a baby, and that's all I know. So uh, we'll skip that one, I guess. Dad's weight, gain or maintain. I don't know what this has a bearing on. <laughs> Sympathy weight. You've stayed... But it's on both of these lists. I feel like you've stayed the same. Same. About the same, but it's only been three months, so. <laughs> Got another six to um, go. We'll keep you updated. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't, yeah, we'll skip it. Sleeping on left side or right side? I've always slept on my back or right side. You still are? Still are. 
That hasn't changed. Right side is girl. Okay. But that hasn't changed, so meh. We'll still, I guess we'll still get it. Uh, mom's complexion, clear or breakouts? Break, well, breakouts more than normal, yes. Breakouts. I had breakouts. That's a girl. They suck the beauty from you. That's what mm. I've heard. <laughs> Temperature, cold or hot, that doesn't count. You're always cold. No, at night I've been having sweats. Hot, heat, like, heat sweats. Well, this says that's female. Girl, like, mm -hmm. okay. Girl. Skin texture, dry or soft? Dry. So oh, soft. You put lotion on like 50, 54 <laughs> times a day. Because my skin's dry. So, dry. I dry as boy. A, oh, okay. Yes. We need to keep track of this. Mm, I'm going to go with seven and five. Boy, <laughs> so far. Okay. <laughs> Cold feet, yes or no? Well, you see. <laughs> They're warm, but she has slippers on. Doesn't count. I always am cold hands and feet. I don't know. I'd say no. No is girl. Okay. Foot size, increase or the same? It's early, so the same. It is early. The same is for girl. I feel like this is for when they didn't have tests where they could tell. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is like they're at like 37 weeks and they're like, what's it gonna be? <laughs> I think it's a little early. But some of these did are true. I mean, morning sickness is only in the first trimester. Yeah, that's true. Mood. Moody or happy? I don't think I'm more moody than I usually am. I'm the same. No. No? No, you're the same, yeah. Okay. I agree. Sorry. <laughs> so we'll go with happy then, because it's the same. It's not like I'm extra moody. Happy is a boy. Okay. That's it. That's all of them. Well, Other the, than our intuition, what do we think? The ring test, too. Do you want to do the ring test? I don't know what that is. It's where you take your wedding ring. We'll put it on like a necklace and you look it up quick. You put it over your pregnant belly and then I think if it goes back and forth, it means something. And if it goes in a circle, it means something. Lie on your back and have your partner, family member, or friend hang the threaded ring above your belly. Wait for it to move on its own. The idea is that it should either swing back and forth in a straight line girl or a circle boy. So circle is boy, straight line is girl. All right, so I am going to lay down on the floor and Tony is going to hold over my wedding band um, on one of my necklace chains and we'll see if it goes back and forth or if it goes in a circle. Okay, so circle is a boy, straight line is a girl. Is it not, is it just not moving? I can't hold it still. It's moving, what's it doing? Straight line. Straight line? Yep. Back and forth. Mm-hmm. What is that? That's girl. Girl! Okay. Why would this be a girl or boy? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I don't know, but it's moving back and forth. All right. That's a girl. Another point for girl. That's a girl. All right, so our intuition. Now that we've done all of them and went through them, what's your intuition? Like, if you had to guess, like, right now, I think I have a guess. You do? What's yours? Uh, well, I don't, I'm just totally guessing, but I, a boy? What do you think? I have no idea. <laughs> Um, how about you guys let us know down in the comments what do you think it's going to be? Do you have any other old wise tales that we didn't touch on that we can try or like ask us questions or something? What do you think? What's your prediction? Boy or girl? And then when we find out, of course, we will let you know. I don't know. It could go either way. Well, obviously it could go either way. <laughs> it could go eat. There's not another third chance in there. Technically, it's not 50-50. It's like 51 to 49 female. Really? Yeah. I don't Does know. Does it have something to do with your genes, too, though? I don't think it has anything that to do with it. has nothing to do with it. I don't it. think so. Because, like, I was one of two girls. You were an only child, though. I was but, only child. So there's nothing, nothing with family history that can, like... No, but there is... There's studies that, like, somehow after... World War II, yeah. when like all of the boys were killed in all the all the European countries, there was a huge amount of boys born, and no one knows why. History lesson by Tony. It went way up, way above normal, like up to sixty percent boys born instead of fifty fifty. Why would that be? 
All right, everyone, so I hope you enjoyed this video with us. Remember to comment down below what you think, your prediction. And if you're not subscribed, do that before you go. Like this video. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at Michelle R. Rose. And we also have an Instagram, which is the Berry Mountain Homestead, and a second channel, which is the Berry Mountain Homestead. So you can follow us both over on there. We both hope you're having a wonderful day. Be sure to find the beauty in each and every day. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye. Try not to hold me down, feel alive